<laughs> pretty cool to outdoor games. <laughs> Indoor sports. By sports time. Or sport time. Design star consultants. Gonna be interesting. Sports games are usually interesting. Published by Mindscape. Okay. Software that challenges the mind. Okay. Made by... Published by Mindscape. That... Uh, piqued my intrigue. Competitor 1. Enter your name. I'm guessing they have only short names here, so I'm gonna be moi. Bowling, darts, and uh, air hockey, maybe? No competitor, too. Just... Just me. Yep. Just me. Do I... Press... What do I press? Ain't nothing working. Um, hang on. Okay, was the wrong joystick. Ah, there we go. So, bowling, darts, or hockey? Let's go in order. Bowling. Yeah, the good thing it is that that doesn't have an epilepsy loading screen. Gray loading screen is a lot better. Huh. I can play solo, one player, two player, or demo. Huh. Ooh. Woodrow, but don't have a paddle. No one? She's having my baby. And all the other great uh, newscaster names they had. So I'm gonna play it solo. Weight of ball is 10, slickness 2, that's about right. That's good enough, I guess, for a beginner. Just gonna play one game and. Yeah. Let's go. Huh. This is like. Uh, in television bowling from the side. I don't know about the controls though, so... Oh no. That's bad because I didn't move the... <laughs> That's the look of my face? Really? I really have no idea how the controls work. Ah, there it is! Um, right. I should have pushed the uh, the button for him stopping him from falling, I guess. Tapioca greatest hit. Yep. This is pretty interesting. This game Pretty interesting indeed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, even I can't believe my face is like that. I can't believe I actually made it right into the gutter. Damn. Damn it. How the heck do you control this ball? I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't get the uh, controls here. Do I need to push the button at a certain time or do I push the uh, joystick at a certain time? I'm just trying stuff. I'm just trying stuff and see which one works. 
<laughs> that didn't work. Nope. Hmm. I still don't get it. Did somebody look up a manual? Or something? Damn it. No, I don't get it. I still don't get it. I thought I had it. I thought I understood the controls already, but... Nope. I still don't get it. Nope. Still don't get it. Or maybe I do now get it. Maybe. Three stages to take in a shot. Move the player up and down a line to a piece uh, run up. Pressing fire to set the position. Then do the same to set the angle of the shot. Finally, after pressing fire to start the run up, press it again to time the release of the ball as close to the line as possible. What? No, I, I don't still get it. I still don't get it. Pressing fire to start the run-up, press it again to time the release of the ball as close to the line as possible. No, that... Uh, uh. No, I still don't get it. Those are very confusing, confusion, yeah, confusing control shares here, here, here. I, I don't understand. No, really, I do not understand. God damn it! What the heck are you supposed to do in this one? Seriously. Uh, I'm looking up. Oh, I'm looking up controls myself. But I like to find out the, on my own. You know, it's supposed to be something you can understand yourself when you start playing the game. Should be easy to learn. Just don't get it. Well, I found a manual. I'm reading that manual myself right now. I found it too. And we are already at the ninth inning. <laughs> right as the game is about to end, we find out how the how how the freaky freck played the freaky freaking game. Yeah, that's how you move the guy. Okay, well, you will use the aiming arrow to select a place on the lane where the ball will hit when the bowler first releases it. It's no, no turning back selection because as soon as the selection is made, the bowler begins his approach to the foul line. 
Activate the aim aiming and holding it down. An arrow will appear on the leftmost part of the lane. Just be at the foul line on the right side of the screen. As long as you hold the fire button down, the arrow will travel from left to off the lane toward the right of the lane. Let go of the fire button. Now, bridge is the spot where you want the ball to begin its path and toward the pins. Now, it passes the spot. Continue hold down and blah blah blah. But say, control the ball's curve. As soon as you have released the fire button to take A, the ball will automatically will oppose the foul line. During the airbrush, you should establish a curve of the ball with the joystick. You control the severity of the curve with the joystick rather than the direction of the curve. Both bowlers are right-handed and the curve of the ball is always from right to left unless you select to have no curve by pushing the joystick straight forward. You will be encountered clockwise from a forward joystick position which puts no curve on the ball. Each of the remaining seven joystick positions per accuracy in one curve. Holy hell! That's a lot of text to read just to play a goddamn game! Especially when it's bowling! So I pretty much got it almost right on how to control this guy. <laughs> it's always the same split that I get. <laughs> Amazing. Yep. No, oh, that's bad. Uh, I can say for sure that this bowling game is the most difficult bowling game I've ever played. I mean, these controls are ridiculously difficult. 40! These are ridiculously difficult. They made this just stupidly... It's not... okay. The controls are not difficult, but complicated. Yes, complicated. You say you're complicated, I say in depth. <sighs> You've seen me play 10th frame. That is a very simple bowling game and it works perfectly. Why do you need to put so much, so much in depth into a bowling game? I just want to play the game. I don't want to learn, like, most convoluted, complicated controls just to throw a ball down the lane. Should have known they would play that, of course. Wow. Scotland is grey. Like, super grey. With a little green and blue. I do like the shade. I like the uh, gradient on the sky. That's pretty well done. But the uh, grass is just one color. Supernova Software presents Highland Games. Let the games begin. Yeah, I've been to Scotland too, like 20 years ago. It was pretty gray. It was rainy. Quite a lot. Lots of hills. Lots of grass. Lots of dead sheep, too. I remember those. The sheep carcasses in the ditches. <laughs> Player one, press your button. Okay. So we have... What she call it? Uh, something throw. It's a ball and a chain. Throw. Stuff. It's in the Olympics. Give me a break. <laughs> they gave me applause. I threw four point nine meters. Yay. Press your button. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh crap. That is a foul. I can see it from the red. <laughs> all from all the red, it tells me that that was a fault. Yep. <sighs> Not really sure how you control this. Do you just mash it or twirl it or? <laughs> Crap. Can I try this again or do we move on to the next uh, event? Well, I win. My <laughs> form with 4.9. <laughs> Yeah, it was definitely a twirler, not a... Well, I got 10 points. Ooh. Long jump. It's kind of nice that it now tells me what the next event is, when it didn't even tell me what the first event will be. And there's no choices, you just go into the game and start playing. Summer games, this is not. Okay. Hey, <laughs> That's really my running speed, even if I go like this? Really? Okay. I did something definitely wrong there. I do not know what. Well, I can definitely say that they took the animation of the guy from Summer Games. But how the heck do you control this? Am I doing something wrong? What am I doing wrong? Maybe there's a certain type of rhythm to it? I guess there's a rhythm to it, you don't just mash the joystick back and forth. You just gotta get that kind of a rhythm to it. Seems like it. Well, I win with 3.3 meters. This gets weird. <laughs> Tonight's stream theme, Spider-Man vs. Controls. Seems like it. Another game... <laughs> Another game with weird controls that I cannot figure out. Hey, I got... I got a high score. Woo! <laughs> what the heck is this? I can really... The, re the record? Whoever played this game before had 2.4. Oh, there's the Kepratos. I was wondering where it would be. And there it is. Oh my god, what am I playing? Oh. This isn't Highland Games, this is Derpland Games. Okay. <laughs> Yay, I tossed it two centimeters. Thirty two percent. Let's try that again. If I did something right, I got it to fifty percent. Or 59, or her, her. Hmm. Got an idea on how the controls are. 
Eh, did my best. Kinda understood how the controls might be there. Why can't we skip this music? It's always lovely to hear the Commodore 64 bagpipe sounds. Weight toss. Lots of tossing in the Highland games, when you think about it. Fairby should know. He's Scottish, isn't he? At least I think he is. Could be remembering wrong, though. Yeah, I remember correctly. So, Grey will just call you a tosser. Or a tosser. As he would say in British. <sighs> Weight toss. Yep. <laughs> well, I can definitely say that didn't make it. Hmm. So at least in this one I can position myself. Let's try that again. One more time. Come on, come on, come on, come on, go, 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 go. I actually almost got it. Well, we're not gonna find out now if I can lower the bar or not. These games are difficult. And yet again, it comes to the one thing that is in my hand. The control. It's kind of amazing, yeah, now that you said that the small guy is small. It's... why is it so far away? There's no audience or anything. It's just one guy in an open field. And apparently there is some kind of audience somewhere we go are or unless they're close to a shore and it actually is the ocean waves just hitting the cliffs. I don't get it. Doesn't make any sense. Nothing in this game makes any sense. Controls, visuals. Blah, 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 blah. He's on the Star, Star Trek's holodeck. Well, that would make sense. They're all high. That would make sense too. Okay. Highland Games. This is just an event happening on the Star Trek and on the USS Enterprise's holodeck where all the crew members who came here are super high on some kind of a drug. Yes. And yes, I've seen train spotting. It was a long time ago, but I've seen it. Yeah. I actually did that. Damn. I actually found something that I can do the controls with. Woohoo. Yeah. See? It takes a while, but I can figure out controls. Damn it. That was actually worse than the first. <laughs> I kind of threw it in the wrong direction, I think. Not too sure, but I think I threw it in the wrong way. <laughs> uh, that was funny. <laughs> Minus 20 meters. <laughs> yes. I did better than with the first try. <laughs> well, the music plays again. That means that was it. Just five events. 
Really? Five events! <sighs> what a weird game! Oh, yeah, no tug of war, no. Uh, what else do they have? Uh, they have some really weird ones there. Oh well. Still, I'll stick to my summer and winter games and world games and whatnot. Thank you very much. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Holy hell. What a weird game! <laughs> really weird!